What's going on, YouTube? Yeah, you read that right. $150 for one month. But yeah, it's our last day here in Cambodia. And today, I'm going to show y'all around the apartment that we've been staying at. So yeah, check this out. Alright, y'all. So we're going to start this video off on a rooftop. Alright, so I know I'm not coming up here in the morning time or in the evening time. I like to come up here and stretch when it's not raining because we did come during uh, wet season. So a lot of the time it rained on and off throughout the day. But yeah, um, I like to come up here and stretch and um, just get some fresh air sometime, you know. Um, if you do decide to ever come here to stay, this is also where you can do your laundry at. I'll show y'all over here. I got a bathroom here too. But yeah, you come up here and you can do the laundry, hang it up, let it um, dry in the sun. Cause like I said, uh, it's rainy season, it's wet, but uh, it still get a lot of sun. It get pretty hot here. But yeah, this is the rooftop. That's where we come chill at. Then you walk over here, walk down. It's uh, three floors here. And uh, we stayed on the first floor. And it brings you to our floor. All the floors got security cameras, so they are safe. And it is a guy who works here that looks after the place. He uh, stays outside during the nighttime uh, to make sure everything is secure. And this is where we are staying right here. Y'all gotta excuse the mess. We getting ready to leave. We packing up. You know what I'm saying? Straightening up and everything like that. But yeah, all the all the rooms come with a kitchen. Um, you got a refrigerator, and they got like a little uh, like a little hot pot type of thing, a little uh, something to cook on over there. And they got a TV in the kitchen. I don't know why they they got the TV in the kitchen, but not the room. But they got a TV in the kitchen and uh, bathroom, of course. Uh, bathroom, hot water. Lakes over there, she don't feel good today. And this is the room, pretty big room, as y'all can see. Pretty big room. And then you got this big window over here, which I love that because it lets a lot of the sunlight in. The sun comes up on the other side of the building, so it sits on this side. So in the evening time, it can get a little brighter here and a little hot too sometimes. And then uh, over here, you got the balcony. Got the balcony over here, got a little balcony with a little city area right there. Yeah, you can see that sea out there. It's a super, and it's a super quiet area, so you ain't really got worried about like be worried about like loud noises or anything like that. The most loud noises you'll get is probably gonna be from the temple when they have certain ceremonies and things like that. Sometimes they play their ceremonial music a little bit loud, but you only can really hear that if you're outside. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the downstairs area. Okay, so this brings us to the downstairs area. Uh, if you have a bike or anything, you can park it under this little cover area right here. Um, I'm not, I don't spend that much time down here, at, down here because I don't have a reason to. But in the nighttime, you come down here, the guy who keeps the building secure, he'll always be down here in the nighttime, you know? Real cool guy, you know, he always smiling, he always gonna speak, say hey. And you come over here, that's where you throw the trash away. Just come over here. And throw it over there in the trash bag. And yeah, they got all these fruit over here. Look at all these different. I think that's a papaya tree right there. Papaya, banana, chili. One thing I can say about Southeast Asia, they always have different fruits and vegetables and stuff growing just like in random places on the side of the road all around their houses. That's pretty cool to me. I like that. Got this uh, little cool statue right here too. Buddha. They also got some fish in there too. You can't see the fish, but they got fish in there too. Underneath there. 
Also, I gotta mention, if um, if if you watch some of my other videos, you seen that like almost daily I go get uh fresh uh juice. Uh, this way, actually, the lady who sells the juice, her mom actually uh makes food too, and they will deliver it to the villa. And to get to that place, you literally just walk out this door. Hold on, I'll show you. So you just walk out the gate right here. Oh shit. There we go. All right. Just walk out the gate, it's gonna bring you to this street right here, right? So you when you, when you leave from this street, you make this left right here, and you go to the end of that street and make another left. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And yeah, they have some really good affordable Cambodian food and the juice is on point. And there's some really nice people on top of that. So yeah, go ahead, support your local uh, vendors. You know what I mean? Like I said, good food, cheap price, you can't beat it. But yeah, like I said, y'all, this is $150 per month. That's for all your utilities included. Wi-Fi and all that, um, yeah, and you can't beat that, you know what I'm saying? So if you're in CM Rep and you look for somewhere to stay, check this place out, you know what I'm saying? I have no complaints. The owner's pretty cool. I'll leave his contact down in the description. Um, yeah, the name of this place, by the way, is Nataria Villa. I think I'm saying that right, Nataria Villa. Yeah, if y'all in CM Rep for any amount of time, check it out. But yeah, this is Nico Wasad. And thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And be looking out for the next one. Peace.